Hi everyone and welcome to the real meat and potatoes of Body Slide. We're finally going to click on the build buttons and make some fun stuff happen. I decided to make this topic its own video because I wanted to show you all the cool options that you have for building your body or outfit. There are two buttons for this, build and batch build, and each one has its own additional features. The one big build button here in the middle will create the files for one individual outfit that you have selected in the outfit slash body dropdown list. When you click this button, it will create the size zero and size one NIFs for the selected outfit using the shape that you have chosen as a preset or the shape that you have created with the sliders. By default, these files will be added directly to the Skyrim data folder for Vortex users or to the body slide output folder for MO2 users, assuming that you set that up properly as per my installation video. You can change this path in body slides advanced settings option, but do not deviate from these settings unless you know what you are doing. For MO2 users in particular, be very careful here. If this points to the Skyrim data folder or is left blank, it can overwrite the NIFs in the original mods folder because of how MO2's virtual folder system works. So if you just click on build or batch build, outfits will be built to those locations. But a great feature of Body Slide is that we can hold down different modifier keys before clicking, and this will change what happens. If you hover over the build button here in the middle of the screen, you can see that by holding down control, the outfit or naked body will be built to a, quote, working directory. This means that instead of going to the default location, Body Slide will send the output to its own mod, which is the Body Slide folder inside Caliente Tools. This will either be found in your Skyrim data folder for Vortex users, or the MO2 overwrite folder, and in MO2 it will go there no matter what you have indicated in the output settings. But please note, any NIFs you build to this working location will not be loaded into your game unless you move them to an appropriate mod folder. This setting is useful if you want to build an item just so you can play around with it outside of the game, for example, taking it into Outfit Studio to use in a mashup. If you hold down Alt and hit the big Build button here in the middle, then Body Slide will delete the outfit from the output folder that you have specified in the settings. By default, this is the data folder for Vortex users and the Body Slide output folder for MO2 users if you set yours up like I recommended. Note that this does not mean from the last folder that you built to. It means the folder that's listed in the settings. You may find this option useful at certain times, but do exercise some caution or else you can accidentally delete outfit NIFs that you actually want in your game. The other way to create your body or outfit is to use the batch build button down here on the left. This does exactly the same thing as the build button, but instead of only doing one outfit, it will build the size zero and size one NIFs for every single outfit that you have selected in the groups box. This can be one outfit, just like the main build button, or it can be as many outfits as you select. A very handy tip here is that you can highlight all the items that you want and then hit spacebar to select or deselect them. You can also right click and choose select all, select none, or invert the selection. With no other keys held down, batch build works exactly the same as the main build button. By default, the files will be added directly to the Skyrim data folder for Vortex or the Body Slide output folder for MO2 users unless you set up your output location differently. Refer to the warnings I mentioned above, especially for MO2 users. You can also use Control and Alt as modifiers to change the behavior of the Batch Build button, but note that they work a little differently than they do with Just Build. If you hold down Control and hit Batch Build, then this will give you the option to choose your output path during the building process. I like this option a lot, and I highly recommend using this as your go-to method for building everything, because it gives you complete control over where the NIFs will end up. 
To me, it is the best way to prevent things from being overwritten by accident. If you hold down Alt and hit Batch Build, then it does just what the main build button does when you hold Alt. It deletes the selected outfits from the Body Slide Output folder indicated in the Settings menu. Note again that this is not necessarily the last folder you built to, and also note that the same cautions apply here. Thanks for joining me to learn more about the different build options, and I hope you found this info useful. Next time, I'm going to show you how you can set up unique output folders so you can build outfits for different body types or however you would like to have outfits separated and organized, and you can keep them all out of your Skyrim data folder if that's what you'd prefer. Until then, happy outfitting!